All right. Hey, folks, well, it's Pat. And, you know, we can always count on Pat to come by and relieve us in our time of need when we need something to drink at around 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening. And he happened to bring by three more familiar friends. We had uh, a couple of wines from Artessa Winery, which uh, this is a beautiful winery down the Carneros region. And uh, they produce some fantastic Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, uh, Cabernet, Cabernet blends. Don von Stavron was here. Uh, he was right after he made the wine at Chateau Saint Jean. That was the wine of the year in the Wine Spectator. So he produced some great wines there in the late '90s. But uh, some great stuff coming out of this winery today. Uh, these are the first wines I've had from Artessa in a little bit. We've had their wines in our gift boxes, and they've been my in my top pick selections at the end of the year in the past. 2007, a great vintage for Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. This is their Carneros Reserve, a wine that's got a lot of lovely black raspberry and black cherry fruit on the nose, a good hand of fresh flowers, really pretty bouquet here, just a hint of fresh earth, uh, very forward and enticing aromas coming out of the glass. Nice ripe black raspberry fruit on the tongue with a, even though pretty fruity, had a nice zesty finish to this wine. Big Pinot Noir, even better on the second day, the sign of a really nicely made wine. The uh, Cabernet Sauvignon Reserve, um, some nice dark tobacco spice here, fresh earth, a hint of black pepper, a little bell pepper maybe coming in on the second day, uh, but a nice wine and a lot of that uh, fruit showing on the tongue too. Uh, maybe just, I don't know, a little bit disjointed, wasn't nearly as good as the 07 Charles Crew Generations in my opinion, which is to me, one of the best wines we have in the store at under $50 a bottle. The Peter Mondavi family had in the middle of this Mondavi uh, book right now, the unauthorized biography that tells the story of the Mondavi family and their struggles. And uh, wow, what a fascinating story. But, uh, you know, this, these people have owned land in Napa for a long, long time. And uh, they've got some prime vineyard sites. And, you know, to be just charge under $50 for your best wine, like I said, still some really good values coming out of Napa Valley. This wine's got a lot of lovely toasty oak spice, fresh plowed black earth, a good amount of black currant and dark cherry fruit, some cigar box spice, really complex uh, nose, lovely richness on the palate, forward and seductive, but layers of dark spices, cocoa, fresh earth, and a long um, seamless finish. Really beautiful bottle of wine, 2007 Charles Krug Generations. Thank you very much, Pat, for showing up later in our hour of need. All right, next up, hey, we still got more drinking to do, folks. We got our Piedmont tasting here in the store last night. <laughs> 